Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest weather analysis for this uh, Thursday to Saturday, October 17 to 19, 2024. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the uh, prestigious uh, colleges here in Naga City and the Bicol region. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now, let's begin with our update. We have a developing low pressure system right now. It's in the vicinity just east of Guam. And this is LPA-93W. Yesterday or last night, we mentioned it already as a, uh, a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. It's still less than 35% of becoming a, a tropical depression. But we are going to observe this in the coming days for what it seems to become a very large uh, system uh, next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend between October 26 and 27, and it could pose a threat to the country. You know, so it's either way, it depends on the uh, outcome in the coming 10 days. If the uh, computer models improve that it will recurve, we are safe, okay? But the worst scenario, if it will go towards the Philippine Islands, it will bring uh, heavy rainfall over our country since this is forecast to be a very large or large system and not just one but there are two tropical cyclones expected to form in a span or within the next uh, 10 days so that's the uh, latest from the various uh, computer models particularly the american and the european model we're going to show to you in a while but first here's the lpa that we are mentioning and uh, right now we are now seeing the beginning of the northeast monsoon it's just a northeasterly wind flow it's now affecting batanes obu and Kubab islands portions of extreme northern zone taiwan the southern and southeastern coast of uh, china and also here across Quezon, bicol provinces as well as summer provinces there are now uh, the first uh, blow of the northeasterly surface wind flow and we are now moving into the cooler months. That's why the uh, hot temperatures during the past uh, few days has decreased a little bit. And it will continue to decrease come November. But what we are worrying is the uh, formation of tropical cyclones. So right now, we are keeping an eye on 93W, which is quite disorganized as of this time. Here's the uh, latest from the uh, Fast Animation, University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. The LPA is currently uh, moving very slowly to the east of uh, Guam. It's currently here. So uh, it's uh, moving slowly. And we have here a robust uh, convection brought about by the intertropical convergence zone. And most likely there will be another system that will be spawned by this uh, uh, intertropical convergence zone across the Philippine Islands. Very good weather, except for isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening, particularly over the southernmost parts of Mindanao and some areas or isolated areas of Luzon, Visayas, Mimaropa, and uh, Mindanao. And here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from uh, windy.com. This is the uh, past 6-hour satellite loop beginning at 9 a.m. this morning until 2 o'clock this afternoon. There are um, developing thunderstorms within the uh, northeasterly wind flow moving into the vicinity of uh, Albay Gulf and slightly to bring rain showers and thunderstorms across Albay and Sorsogon within the next few hours. And uh, so far, uh, only a couple of thunderstorms here over the Visayas area and uh, over at the southern tip of Mindanao. Now let's take a look at the uh, uh, pressure and wind forecast from the European model for the next uh, three days and we are going to extend this to the next 10 days to show to you the formation of not one but two tropical cyclones based on the American and the European model. 
But right now, it's still highly uncertain. Very low uh, probability. 0 to 20% probability. So nothing to worry about. What we are going to uh, worry if it's already less than 5 days. So we are going to keep an eye on this uh, developing uh, situation for next weekend. Not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Okay. So for the next 3 days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this is from the European model. Here comes now the large, uh, some kind of a monsoon depression or monsoon gyre, okay, or gyre forming here to the west of uh, Guam up to the Philippine Sea. So, this is now the area that we are going to observe in the coming uh, weekend. So, there's a uh, shallow LPA forming to the east of Bicol region and some northeasterly wind flow affecting the northern and eastern portions of Luzon, while southwesterly or westerly winds to the south, south of Mindanao and uh, south of Palau, which is paving the way for the development of this large area of uh, low pressure. So that will be on Sunday, and for the uh, American model, it's a formation of two LPAs here, east and west of Guam, come Sunday, October 20. Now, if we move the uh, forecast model based on the European model, we are going to move this on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, October 21 to 23. There will be a low pressure system here uh, to the north of Bicol region forming. And we have now the first uh, blast of the northeast monsoon affecting uh, extreme northern Luzon. Winds of up to uh, 60 kph gustiness will be expected and another system will form here to the south of Guam so that will be on Wednesday October 23 now we move this into 24 and uh, Friday 25 Saturday 26 there you go these are two tropical cyclones the first one near the Philippine Islands north of Bicol is expected to move towards the northwest becoming a tropical storm or severe tropical storm and it will traverse the Babuyan and the Batanes Cuba Islands so it's it's quite uh, a large system the uh, southern uh, circulation is uh, reaching down to uh, Palawan and the Visayas you can see it here here okay so this is a large system based on the European model so this is the area of, uh, likely it's an area of uh, tropical depression force winds, okay, TD winds as we speak. And here to the north of Guam, another system, likely a tropical storm as well, forming. And uh, we have a uh, double cyclone by Saturday, October 26, if this uh, forecast will come true. But let's hope and pray it will occur. But look, look at the wide uh, area of this uh, uh, potential storm uh, on October 26. But still 0 to 20% probability. Very low probability, so nothing to worry about. We will monitor this until we enter the 5-day period of the forecast. Now, when we look at the American model, it's a different scenario. It will become a very powerful system. Actually, this uh, the, the what we are looking at the, at this uh, uh, latest from the European model it looks like a trio of tropical cyclones, where the middle one being absorbed by this uh, leftmost system. It's at super typhoon strength, okay, and we have another one here. But the good news of the American model is recurving towards the north. So there's nothing to worry about when it comes to the Philippine Islands. So let's hope and pray that this will be the scenario for the American model. But we are also focusing our attention on the European model, which is expected to affect uh, Luzon based on uh, what they are forecasting. So uh, let's hope that it will change. We still have time. And we will uh, bring you the very latest come weekend. Now here's the uh, latest from the uh, American model. So that's the scenario of uh, 
the uh, LPA 93W while the European model the ensemble shows it will move towards Luzon so that's the uh, two scenarios that we are expecting by uh, next weekend so let's hope and pray that it will recurve now when it comes to rainfall for the next three days today until Sunday most of the rainfall are concentrated over western and southern uh, central Mindanao Palawan uh, some portions of Visayas eastern sections of northern Quezon including Pulilio eastern sections of Camarines provinces and Catanduanes so there might be uh, chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms during the next three days through the weekend okay and when we look at the latest uh, wave forecast nothing to worry for the next uh, two days until Saturday the wave heights here will be uh, just uh, more than one meter over the East Philippine Sea over the central waters of the Philippines it will be calm to half a meter in wave height while over the West Philippine Sea it will be half a meter to more than one meter in wave height suitable for fishing and sea travel so light to uh, slight slightly moderate when it comes to wave heights to Saturday but on Sunday it will be a different scenario on Sunday there will be a strong surge maybe this will be the first blow of the northeast monsoon or the northeasterly wind flow affecting the coastal waters east of Luzon extreme northern Luzon and west of Ilocos provinces so wave heights of up to three meters will be expected here dangerous to small fishing and sea vessels okay and before we leave you here's the latest global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA valid for the next two to three weeks now for week two valid uh, October 23 to 29 here we go again because of the approach of the uh, wet phase of the Madden Julian oscillation it looks like there will be more than 60 percent probability of a tropical cyclone formation east of Luzon so that's what we are watching right now 93W it could become a very large system in the coming days and then uh, for week 3 which is very low in uh, probability and highly uncertain there's still a uh, probability of 40% uh, or more than 40% of a tropical cyclone formation east of Luzon east of Taiwan okay this will be between October 30 to November 5 so uh, we are praying that all of this potential uh, formation will track north sparing our country so there you go that's the latest for this Thursday and we will return this weekend for another update on the new LPA and the weather situation across our country from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Padua saying uh, stay safe always Let's all pray that all this uh, tropical cyclone formation will move towards the north, sparing our country. And uh, thank you so much for watching. God bless to all.